In this problem, we have to take a bunch of numbers written in scientific notation and convert them into standard form with the proper number of zeros and everything. This conversion is easier than the reverse, since finding the full number of digits in a number written in scientific notation is usually as easy as plugging it into a calculator and writing down the answer that gives you. Some calculators automatically round a scientific notation with very large numbers, but that isn't usually the case with relatively small orders of magnitude. Nevertheless, it's still useful to understand how to do the conversion yourself. For 8.69 times 10 to the 4th power, this 10 to the 4th power tells us that the 8.69 number is much bigger, so we want to move the decimal point 4 spaces to the right to make this number 86,000 Nine hundred. A similar process can be used for 9.1 times 10 to the third power. We move the decimal three spaces to the right to get 9,100. For 8.8 .8 times 10 to the negative 1, the exponent is negative, so the value is actually less than 8.8. .8. This time, we move the decimal space one place to the left to make it 0 0.88. For 4.76 times 10 squared, we're once again making the number larger by an order of magnitude of 2, so it becomes 476. In the case of 3.62 times 10 to the negative fifth power, we're making the number much, much smaller. So we move the decimal point five spaces to the left to make it 0 0.00003.62. And those are all the numbers written in full form.